Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. You live in a drama. We need to start living in reality. There are two spheres. Our drama, your drama, and reality. What we do in our lives, we think our drama is the reality. And this is why we can't connect with human beings, we can't connect with our family members, we can't connect with ourselves, and our lives are one big circle. What do I mean by this? Our drama, brothers and sisters and friends, is our previous experiences, our limited perspectives, ideas, interactions with others, and we take all of that and we superimpose it onto reality, onto the present. We're always living in the past from that perspective because we're so attached, our egos become so attached to, but he did that before, and she's always been like that, and this is how I've lived my life always, and this has always happened to me, and this is the right way to do things because before, etc, etc, and you superimpose that onto reality. So as if we have three filing cabinets in life. The filing cabinet of the past, the filing cabinet of the present, and the filing cabinet of the future. And we take the files from the past and we're always putting it into the future. So we're never living the present and our whole life and the rest of our life is just one big retake of our past. This is ridiculous. This drama and reality is not the same thing. And the reason we think it's the same thing is because of ego. When we reflect upon the Qur'an, Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 30, we can really derive this knowledge. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ قَالُوا أَتَجَعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءَ وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ قَالَ إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Allah says to the angels, He announces that He's going to send down a vicegerent on earth. And the angels reply, that are you going to send someone down to create bloodshed, calamity, while we sing your praises? What does Allah say? I know that which you do not know. Ibn Kathir, the classical commentator, essentially says that God has a totality of wisdom and knowledge. We have its particular. God has the picture. We have the pixel. So this should really teach us about our own lives. Are we going to live in our own drama? Our limited experiences, just like what the angel said. Before Adam, before this man that you're going to send down as a vice on earth, there was bloodshed. So therefore, what you're going to do now is going to be the same. But Allah says, don't think like this. Don't be like this. Don't be in a state of being that you're always living your own ego your interpretation of the past, your limited experiences and superimposing on everybody else, on yourself, your family, and the entire world. This is why you're living a circle. Your whole life is one big circle. But Allah says, He knows that which we don't. So if we truly rely on Allah and His wisdom, and we understand that my previous experiences, just like the angels, my previous understanding, my limited ideas, thoughts and perspectives, are not reality and I can't superimpose them on the present or on the future all the time because they are not reality, I rely on God's wisdom and plan, then it creates a new realm of possibility for us to do what we can to interact with others in a positive way. And the past is just the past, meaningless, absolutely meaningless from this perspective. So just by reflecting on one small verse in the Quran, it enables you to have a new realm of possibility with other people. So divorce your drama from reality. It's meaningless. Be a blank canvas and connect with people in ways that they should be connected with, not via the lenses and prism of your limited experiences and perspectives. I hope this helps. 
السلام عليكم